a Catholic priest is biblically saved. How could it be that a Catholic priest is biblically saved? I mean, he's the one who gives salvation to others purportedly through the sacraments and he's the one who's in charge of seeing that God's grace go forth. How could a Catholic priest? But that is my, my authentic story what historically happened. I was 34 years old, I was serving as a Catholic priest, utterly devout, born in Ireland, ordained the Catholic priest in Ireland, then sent to Trinidad West Indies where I was a priest for 22 years. A Catholic priest is born again because I know I had lived I had lived Catholicism. When I was a young man and I decided to be a priest at age 18, with the, uh, I was with the Jesuits but I went into the Dominican order. It was so that I could suffer and so that I could suffer for my sins and know what it was. I had memorized what the famous gaunt, thin-looking Pius XII said. He said, this in his book, or his encyclical letter, sorry, where he said how somebody could be saved. And I want to quote exactly from Mr. G. Corporus from Pius XII. He said, Great mystery this, and source of unending contemplation, that the salvation of many should depend on the prayers and works of the members of the mystical body of Christ offered for this intention that you could be saved by offering up your good works because you belong to the body of Christ so the Catholic Church talks about itself and I decided I was going to do plenty of these good works and I was going to outdo other people I had also listened to the so-called apparitions which proved to be frauds of Mary at Fatima and and at Fatima she said she said many souls she was supposed to say the demon who spoke at those apparitions said many souls go to hell because there's nobody to pray or do penance for them I decided I was going to do penance in the cold of Irish winters and it gets really cold in Ireland in the winter time I used to go into the shower and take cold showers so that my bones would actually nearly tremble with the with the pain it was one of the more painful things I've ever done in my life and then I got permission to make a little steel whip where I used to flagellate myself that is beat myself so that I could offer my suffering so the souls could be saved I would offer my sufferings with Christ's sufferings. It used to be symbolized in the Mass where before we consecrated the, the so-called consecration of the, of the wine into the blood of Christ, we used to put a drop of water into the wine. This was to symbolize that our sufferings are united with Christ's sufferings for the salvation of souls. A diabolical teaching, but that's just what I lived. And that's was what I was teaching people. I was teaching people in Trinidad to offer your penances, offer your suffering so that souls could go to heaven. And I remember when people were dying, I used to say, offer up your sufferings with Christ. I would whisper in the ear of the dying people, offer up your suffering so that you may be well with God. I remember one dying man, I gave him communion, I gave him confession. And I said, now offer your sufferings as you're dying with God so that you may go to heaven. I was scared. That man, as he was dying, died cursing God. That scared me. I did everything I could as a priest. I gave him absolution, forgiveness from his sins. I gave him Holy Communion, what we call the Body of Christ, so-called so Body of Christ in the Communion wafer, which of course is a farce, but biblically a farce, but that's what we said. And I gave him, I gave him everything. I did the anointing. I anointed his head and his hands with oil so that he could go immediately, not going to purgatory, but to go straight to heaven. That man died cursing God. I realize that sacraments do not work. 
I saw that into the priesthood when babies I baptized were just as sinful as the Hindus and even a few Muslims around and it, nothing worked and then in that day in 1972 age 34 where I cried out to God to show me he saved me biblically and it was a Catholic priest is biblically saved and that is my message to you praise God and that can be your message too but how first of all you got to realize and as a Catholic your empty works mean nothing they are filthy rags before God and you say well I'm not a Catholic or I'm an evangelical or I don't no religion nothing pleases the Holy God you are dead spiritually as Ephesians says and you have to realize you're spiritually dead cry out to God to show you that you're spiritually dead and he will show you just as he showed me and you will know what it is to have life and have life eternal and to enjoy fellowship with the Father the all holy God we can call Abba Father the intimate terms like Daddy God, Papa God because we're in Christ. That is the real story. A Catholic priest is biblically saved. It happened to me, it can happen to you. Cry out to God and he will show you that you're spiritually dead. He will be faithful and true. And then as he gives you the faith and the grace make a profession of faith by the faith you give me and the grace you give me I trust that I as a sinner am right with you the all holy God by your grace now and for all eternity God is faithful he will save you and you will know joy unspeakable and full of glory and that will be your testimony also. It says at the end of John's Gospel, and I, I have memorized these words because it means so much to me. And we know that the Son of God has come and given us an understanding that is true. And we are in Him that is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God an everlasting life. Those are the ending words of First John and it says little children keep yourself from idols don't believe anything else don't get into rituals and believe rituals don't believe any church it is God who saves those dead and sins and this will be your story also and you will praise him and glorify him and so I'd love to hear from you and I know that I will take joy in that and I will praise God myself for your salvation just as I praise God for mine and so as you do this and know salvation you will be able to say together with me all praise all glory all worship all honor be to you glorious father now and forevermore Amen and Amen. Praise God.